Hey, this is Professor Perez from Saddleback College. Today, we're going to look at some geometric shapes. More specifically, a circle, a cylinder, and a sphere. And of course, we can't get started without our student of the semester, and that's Charlie. He better be ready to go. Hey, Charlie, what are you doing? Okay, we're doing some geometric shapes. There's our first one right there. What kind of shape is that, Charlie? Circle. Very nice. Now, here we're given the diameter to be 18 inches. And we're going to calculate the circumference. Remember, the circumference is the distance around the circle. It's like the perimeter of a circle. Which means you start at one point of the circle, and then you walk all the way around that circle, just like that. And you go back to where you started, and if you were to measure that distance, that would be the circumference. Okay, Charlie, so there's our formula, c equals 2 pi r. Now, notice our formula has r in it, and we need the radius. Now, we're given the diameter. How do we find the radius? Take half the diameter. That's right, it's half the diameter. So, what's one half of 18? Nine. Nine inches, that's right. So we'll go to our formula, and it's 2 times pi times 9 inches, that's right. And here, we're going to multiply the 2 times the 9 first, and that gives us the 18 pi inches. And that is our final answer. Now remember, at this point in the class, we do not have any calculators, right? So, all of our solutions are going to have pi in it at this point in the course. After the next exam, when you are allowed to use the calculator, we're going to replace pi with an approximation of 3.14 and then do 18 times 3.14 and round to the nearest hundredth and get an answer somewhere around 55. But again, we'll deal with pi on the next exam in more detail when we have our calculators. And remember, when you do get a calculator, it's there to supplement your learning. Don't forget, you don't want to become one of those calculator kids. All right, Charlie, so now we found the circumference, which was the distance around the circle. Let's find the area. Okay, now area, again, we see pi and we see r squared. Remember, area is two dimensions. The perimeter or circumference is one dimension. So notice in area, it's r squared because it represents two dimensions. Okay, Charlie, so we'll replace the r with nine inches and notice it's nine inches squared. What's nine inches squared, Charlie? 81 inches squared. 81 inches squared, that's right, because it's two dimensions. And so our answer is pi times 81 inches squared, correct? But generally we always put the numbers in front, so we'll have 81 pi inches squared for our final answer. And again, on the next exam, our answer is not going to be 81 pi. It's going to be 81 times 3.14, and we're going to round our answer to the nearest hundredth. But that's next exam. For now, we leave it as 81 pi inches squared. All right, Charlie, let's move on. So what we're going to do now, Charlie, is bring out a cylinder. That's right, okay? So keep your eye, watch it. It's going to magically appear. Watch it. Watch it very carefully, Charlie. Ready? Okay, here it comes. Uh-huh, there we go. You better be paying attention now. Anyway, here is our right circular cylinder. It's a cylinder, right? Now, the formula for the volume of a cylinder is pi r squared h. Notice there's three dimensions here. Now, it's r squared, but times an h, and that is the third dimension we're going to have. You'll see. Now, here our height is given as 20 inches, and the top is a circle with a diameter of 12 inches. And so a 12 inch diameter and the height is 20. So, notice the volume for a cylinder is the area of the top, and since the area is a circle, it's pi r squared, and then the pi r squared is times the height, and that gives us the volume of the cylinder. Okay, Charlie, so since we need to have radius, because that's in our formula, radius is one half the diameter, our diameter is 12 inches. What's half of 12, Charlie? Six. Very nice. So we'll go back to our formula. Notice we, we replace r with six inches, height with 20 inches, and now, remember, order of operation says we got to do the exponent first. So, Charlie, what's 6 squared? 36 inches. That's our 36, but notice it's 36 inches squared. And now, notice here, we have to do 36 inches squared times 20 inches, right? Okay, Charlie, what's 36 times 2? 72. Very nice there, Charlie. So, 
36 times 20, there you go, 720 inches cubed. So our answer is pi times 720 inches cubed for our dimensions. And remember, Charlie, we generally put the number in front of the pi, so our volume is 720 pi inches cubed for our answer. Remember, next exam, our answer will not be 720 pi inches cubed. It'll be 720 times 3.14. We'll get an answer and then round it to the nearest hundred. All right, Charlie, so let's do one more shape. What kind, of, what kind of shape is this? Sphere? It's a sphere, that's right. Now this sphere has a diameter, Charlie, of 10 inches, okay? Now the volume of a sphere, the formula is volume equals 4 thirds pi r cubed. All right, notice we have r again, and this time it's r cubed because we have three dimensions, right? All right, Charlie, now, radius is half the diameter. Our diameter is 10 inches, so what's one half of 10? Five. Five inches, very nice there, Charlie. Now, notice, we replace the R with five inches. All right, so we have four thirds. Now, what's five inches cubed, Charlie? 125? Very nice there, Charlie, 125 inches cubed. Very good. Okay, Charlie, now, we have four thirds. Now, times 125, we're going to write the 125 as a fraction. Put 125 over 1, and we'll put the pi at the last, and then our dimensions are inches cubed. Now, what is 4 times 125, Charlie? 500? Five? Very mm -hmm. nice. 500 and over 3 pi inches cubed. And for now, that will be our answer. We can't reduce 500 over 3. We'll leave it at that. Now remember, next exam, our answer will be calculated using a calculator, in which case you'd have to take 500 divided by 3 and get that result, and then times 3.14, round to the nearest hundredth. But for now, our final answer is 500 over 3 times pi inches cubed. So that completes our lecture on geometric shapes. We're going to come back and do some more very soon. So we'll see you all again soon.